What's up, everybody? Welcome to Obi Wan Kenobi's Guide to Conqueror's Blade Expedition 3. This guide's uh, pretty straightforward, just going to the Expedition 3 and do your battle. I'm gonna take one Imperial Spear Guard, and that's the only use unit I'm gonna use throughout the entire match. Always try and send my guys up right away before the uh, animation starts playing right here. You'll see I didn't get my guys quite far enough forward. Quite not as not quite as far as I wanted to get them. But after that initial uh, animation, you'll see they send out a charge, so I was trying to intercept the guys right before my line. And one of my other players charges the swordsman in, so automatically I just move my shield wall up right to where I'm at. Make sure none of these guys get behind it, because that's where they're gonna do the most damage. I keep pushing forward. I use the advanced command here, but you'll see later on in the video. You can't really see it now, but if they get caught up on anything, they stop where they're caught up. So we'll reform a line here. Make sure when you do this, uh, if you're not tanky, don't just jump out in front. And you'll see they start, I can see them turn to attack my uh, shields. So I know they aggro the shields and then I can kind of come back and defend my guys from behind. Make sure nobody's poking them in the back where they're undefended. Watch that right side too because there's, there'll be another unit of uh, whoever that comes through there. So after we clear this up, you see I'll advance again. Always advancing the shield wall. We're taking a uh, ranged fire, so I'm just going to bring them all the way up. I see that there's another unit of swordsmen coming, so put down my line and again I try and get out in front when my lines already set up so I can hit these guys in the back and do the critical damage helps you get kills a little faster again one of my teammates sends in his swordsman so I move my line up to kind of help and I always try and take care of whoever's in the back once my lines established and no one's behind it then I'll go out front and try and get those critical hit kills I'm just always moving my line up I hate archers, so I turn to get these guys, and then I see up oh, there's some gunners over there, but I know I had a teammate back there handling shit, so come back, clean up my line. One guy got past, I didn't put my guys quite enough, quite far enough over to, to prevent the enemy from just squeezing through the little crack right there. But once I know that my guys are good and this whole little wave's defeated, continue moving. I'm gonna go after these gunners now. Here's where I'll show you if you do the advance and your guys get caught up on something, they're just gonna stop. So I should have used the uh, rectangular formation here instead of the line. But just do a quick heal up, send my guys forward. You watch that right side, they get caught up, they stop, and boom, the whole freaking crew stops. So you don't really wanna have to deal with that. If you don't want to have to deal with it, just put your guys in the column and squeeze them through whatever space you need to squeeze them through. Here comes the last wave, so I put my guys in a line, let these guys run up, and then I come in from behind. Again, those critical hits do a lot more damage, so it's a little easier. And I got backup. Now, you gotta defend these uh, villagers, that's like the expedition objective so we'll defend those guys and then immediately I'm gonna go to the other one so I wasn't sure if my team knew to go over there and obviously they hadn't been taking them all down bring my guys over clear out this uh, wave of gunners because they do a pretty good amount of damage to those villagers and then always heal up always heal your units you can do that in the supply uh, points right there Always try and heal up in between waves. I'm gonna follow my teammate out here to the south and uh, try and take care of this. this unit down here. This guy gives me a lot of trouble, honestly. He didn't want to die. And I thought those winged viscers or whatever would have taken care of this whole other unit, but as you can see, they didn't quite. And then this Nodachi is just going to sit around and F up my line. But we engage him, try and take care of him while we're out here. You can see the other player is over there, he's just not attacking. I don't know what he's doing. That's what happens when you play with randos. 
So the Nodachi is not really dying, and there's a couple of gunners out in the distance there. So after I send my guys to attack them, and I see, well, they're not really doing too much, send them out there to get those gunners. I thought I gave them enough time after my ult here to get out there and attack, but they come back to attack this guy, and they're like, eh, better send him further. Send him out again, let him line up while I'm battling this guy. And then once they get into the line, they're, they're at least protected. They don't take very much damage. I, on the other hand, get stomped on. I see one of the gunners try and run to the back of my guys. So I know that's not good, I just set them to attack again. And Lo and behold, they actually start attacking the gunners, which is what I wanted. Here come my teammates, they obviously cleared the other wave. And they steal my kill. And the wave's over, so again, we're gonna head right back to the supply point, drop your units there, heal your horse, heal yourself if you need to. And just make sure you're ready to go for the next wave. So you're not gonna get any easier. And at this point, the enemy artillery starts choosing who it's going to fire at. I see it's not me. Usually I tend to look around and see, up oh, where is it going? Over there, right? I'm RK. Try not to stand in the middle where the villages are when that happens, though, because that artillery can just land right in the middle of the village. So, you know, after forgive me, my five-year-old came in and sat down with me here, so things get a little camera crazy. But again, I'm just going to go out here. I'm going to meet up this wave. And I'm going to try and engage it in front of my line again. So I need my line to get set up. So I don't want these guys to overrun it while they're getting set up. So I'll just engage it until I see them start to go past me. Then I know my line's there. Then I come back, try and take care of the flank. So my guys, they can only really take damage. They don't take much damage from the front, from these units. So try and make sure I stay on the sides and on the back and make sure... Nobody's getting around to kill them. Now I just clear the wave with this other teammate. Pretty straightforward stuff right here. Again, we got some archers out here, so I'm gonna bring my guys out. I always try and move to the back of the units with these uh, ranged units, just get back as far as I can. Um, and let my guys handle the dudes in the front. So again, I see my teammates are uh, clearing this other wave, so I'm going to bring my guys back to the supply point, heal up again. Rinse and repeat here. I mean, this is pretty standard stuff. But, let those guys heal up. Always try and go in full health if I can. This is my daughter just running around swinging the axe. So you notice uh, the waves, they don't always spot in the same place, but generally, generally they'll be in the same place. So here I kind of hose myself because my guys are extra slow and I ran out way in front of them to get out here to try and help them. And man, I took a beating while I was waiting. They're still not set up, so. I see they're getting charged now, you know, the line's starting to form. As long as I can hold the back, they'll form that line up and it won't be too bad. Won't lose too many guys. So you can see their health. I just lost a guy. You can see the health's just going down and down. If they're taking damage from the rear, they're you're gonna be uh, having a bad day. So here we go, I mean it took me a while to get that line established. I'm sure I could have done it a lot smoother and more efficiently, but I had a kid on my lap playing with me. What can I say? Again, with the advance, I mean, in this instance, it's probably not super great because I'm getting targeted by artillery um, and I have no idea where it's going to land. I wasn't really paying attention. Send my guys to attack again. Again, I'm gonna try and push to the back of these archers a little bit. Clear this wave again. 
so far I've only used one unit, and they're still doing pretty good. I think I've only lost, I don't know, three or four of them at this point. So I can't really complain. Imperial Spear Guard, I mean, they pretty much kick ass. They're slow. They're slow moving around, but they get the job done when they get to where they're going. Again, I get our artillery targeted right on the supply point, so I don't have time to heal my units. And they're facing the wrong way because I just quickly placed them into a formation to keep them off the point. And up, oh, nobody's ready over here, so the villagers are going to get attacked. This is not what we wanted. So bring my guys in, just set them to attack. Try and clear out this cavalry, because they get there fast. The cavs, the cavalry gets there quickly. I got another guy up there to the east. I'm like, okay, once the cavalry's cleared, then I can kind of uh, figure out where I need to go. I see the spear sergeants there holding that line, so I set them here to establish another line in front of these uh, swordsmen coming in. But up, oh, another thing a cab gets through. I don't know. I don't even know where that one came from. But it totally just destroys my line. And then I start moving around. I remember, oh, I have cover commander, so maybe that'll help. But I can just watch my units tick off, pretty much getting murdered from everywhere. Which is unfortunate. That was a bad play on my part. Because you should know this last round. You're gonna get cavalry. I mean, it's coming. Units, assemble. And see, I thought I had a guy over here handling stuff, but uh, it doesn't appear that he was. So I heal up real quick because I see there's the the last rebel boss or whatever. And we're just basically gonna beat on him. Now you gotta watch his units right there, those samurai units or whatever. They're tanky, and they hit pretty hard, so you gotta watch them. I'm gonna cover Commander. We got him trapped in the corner, so he's gonna get hosed right here. And we're pretty much just gonna murderize him. Again, didn't get a kill, but... You'll see I come in third place at the end of this, because I got zero... of those Commander kills. Which is okay, third place, whatever, I'm not doing it for the placement. I just wanna beat it and get an S, or an S+. Plus. So I send my guys to heal because they're ridiculously low and I realize we haven't cleared the whole fifth wave yet. There's another thing of cavalry out there. But we clear it, boom, easy day. The victory comes up. Get a little bit of that uh, honor. I got an S. I mean, can't really complain. I got a couple of crafting materials. Imperial Spear, spear Guard, they rank up. Third place again, like I said, I mean, it could have been worse. Um, not even sure when that fifth guy loaded in, but that's it. Easy day, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any recommendations, comments, or you want to see me do a video on maybe something a little more challenging, drop it in the comments below. And as always, uh, if you like the video and you like the content, just like and subscribe. I want to put out more Conqueror's Blade videos, so if I can get people to watch them, I definitely will. Hope you guys all having a blessed day, and good luck conquering.